Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today, we're at William Lake targeting early April trout. Hopefully, after watching this video, you'll be a better trout angler or have learned something new. If all else fails, you'll enjoy seeing some beautiful Manitoba wildlife. Stay tuned. Oh, it's a big one. Yeah? Oh yeah, bigger than the other. Here, you want to come in here and pull my other wine out? Yeah, you got it. Thanks, buddy. No problem. Oh, that's exciting. This is a new rod for me here, right? Oh, here he comes. Oh! Another female. That's way bigger. Oh! Oh, oh, oh yeah! Master angler. Definitely. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, beautiful 21 and a half inch brown trout here, sending her back home. Strong kickoff. So right now we're actually fishing right in the boat launch, kind of on the line where they put gravel. So it's harder bottom where it kind of meets the silty, mucky bottom of the natural lake here and hopefully that'll be kind of a fish attractor slash concentrator so our strategy is we're going to start by choosing an end of the spectrum whether it's deep or shallow and then working our way through the depth until we find fish we're going to start shallow drill a bunch of holes from the shore going out into the deep stick the flasher down fish a little bit until we find fish hooked up in what feels to be a better fish. Oh yeah, trout. Hooked up on the feed here. Peppy little bugger. Just hooked into a nice little eater rainbow here healthy looking fish here. So the main rod that we're running here is a 34 inch medium Cabela rod and it's loaded up with eight pound monofilament line tied on here a little gold rattle spoon. So we're really ripping this hard trying to attract some fish both with the rattling of the spoon but also the flashing of the fluttering straws in the fish. So our secondary rod is a 28 inch medium quantum optics rod spooled up with six pound monofilament. Here we've got just a little crappy tube jig. It's about, I don't know, quarter of an ounce-ish. And so we're dead sticking this. So we're hoping to rip with the other one, attract the fish, and then this one just dead sticking and hopefully they hit on that if they're more lazy or negative fish, so. Most of you have a toboggan or a little sleigh. You can flip that upside down. It makes a nice little cot, gets you about a foot off the ice. Then the ice doesn't suck the heat right out of your body. It's about midnight right now. 
minus five degrees Celsius and I'm perfectly comfortable here and I'm ready to stay the night. And all I hear is the sound of the wind and coyotes in the night. See you in the morning. Camping on the ice was a pretty awesome experience. I got woken up in the night from the coyotes howling not too far away. I'm just happy it wasn't a bear. If you've got any cool camping stories, anything regarding wildlife, don't be afraid to leave a comment below. I'd like to hear it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll do our best to keep the good stuff coming.